Just as the action plan to regulate mining across the world has been drafted yesterday, the death roll from the explosion which rocked Deja Oyelisi Street in Botija Ibado rose to five, with over 80 injured. Special Advisor on Security Matters to Oyo State Governor Fatai Hosseini disclosed this yesterday in an interview that has affected seven subs of Nigeria's third most populous city. Welcome to Top Niger Live. Today we'll be discussing the deadly blast which occurred a few days ago in Ibadan. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Following the massive explosion at Deja Olesi Street in Botija, Ibadan on Tuesday, some of the victims have been counting their losses, with most of them rendered homeless. Come on. <coughs> this is this is really, really massive. Let me turn on like that. Turn up, turn up. See, see houses down. We can't count the number of houses that are gone. I will go to church. I will want to. It's just so pathetic, and there's no rescue mission at all. Crowds have turned the sides of the blast as rescue efforts continues. The man who, whose mother's home was destroyed said she was in bed at that time of the blast and is now in the hospital. The roof and everything went down. She was inside in her bed when it happened. She was rushed to the hospital naked and I am going there now. Now buildings have been reduced to near rubbles at the site of the blast and vehicles destroyed. Further away from the blast zones, windows have been blown out of their houses and rooftop damaged. Eyewitness said the explosion happened around 1945 local time 1845 GMT in Botija, a residential district of the city. It was heard across the city of Ibadan, the capital of the southwestern Oyo state. One of the onlookers at the scene is a painter who has been working at one of the buildings that collapsed. He turned up to work in the morning and is unable to find his bus. Some of them interviewed on Wednesday by Prime Time described the incident as tragic. How the explosion occurred. Speaking with Vanguard at the scene of the explosion, Alahaji Musa, who said he was rushed to the hospital and discharged yesterday, said he escaped the death by Winkers because he offered to help his neighbor put out the fire that preceded the explosion. He claims that foreign illegal miners caused the explosions were collaborated by Governor Mackinde allegedly. Narrating events that precede the explosion, he said, Around 7 p.m. last night, Tuesday, I was going to pray. As I was standing to pray or to start the prayer, I noticed some fire burning in the next house. So I stopped the prayer I quickly picked up my fire extinguisher. I told my boys that the neighbor's house was on fire. Let's go help. I then came downstairs. One guy saw me and said the fire was beyond what an extinguisher can put out. I then picked up the phone to call the fire service. The next thing I heard was a blast. Boom. It threw me off the ground and landed me on the stairs. Part of the house had cracked. My boys advised that I jumped. Fire started at a meter away from the house and at the time we came downstairs, there was no one in the premises. The house was on fire and it was started by the occupied by the Sangelis or the Nambians and they engaged in mining. They had explosive inside the building. The explosion was a result of the explosive kept in the building. The foreigners have been living here since 2013, he said. They go in the morning and come back in the evening. I wouldn't know if their immediate neighbors knew they were into mining. The foreigners ran out before the explosion. He further clarified that immediately the foreigners saw the fires raging. They knew the complications because of what they kept inside. His words. The foreigner, including their children, ran out of the houses and did not alert us so we could run away too. They knew the implications when the fire, when they saw the fire, so they ran out without alerting us. Now the authorities expressed their sadness. President Bola Amentinibu has expressed deep sadness over the devastating explosion that has occurred on Tuesday night, January 16, 2024, in Botijai Badon, Oyo State's capital. Recalling that explosion killed personnel and wounded over 80 others, it also destroyed several buildings, vehicles, and other properties. Now, more are still dying from the wounded. Before it was two deaths, then it rose to five deaths 
and some people are still dying some did not die instantly but did not survive the injury as well now the president maintains strongly that those who are responsible for the explosion must be fished out and punished it is worrisome that the cause of this blast is being attributed to the activities of illegal miners the president said the president also directed the national emergency management agency to work with governor shay mckinday to offer immediate compressive relief to the victim affected by the incident now proceeding to his social media oil state governor shay mckinday posted a statement on facebook promising that those responsible will be brought to work i have directed the medical bills i have directed that the medical bills of all victims be covered by the government he said we will also be providing temporary accommodation for those whose houses were affected and ensuring that they are supported to rebuild their lives some people still could not believe this to be serious some said it is an act of cover given the fact that he was the first to speak on the matter now disaster is never a thing of joy and i really hope those affected are fine this is definitely not a good way to start the year though i pray god heals them physically and mentally financially as well sending our love from everyone in top nine to life as we are with them in spirit with the people of ibada in prayers let me know your thoughts below in the comment section what you think about this entire video and the entire thing that is happening in the bottom people let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and i will be glad to respond to you see you next time and do not forget this is top manager life and i am your host daughter wes bye